In this video, I'll be showing you two possible ways to fix the error of missing msbcp140.dll in Windows. This error may show up when you try to run certain applications like Skype or Epic Games or some other applications on your computer. The msvcp140.dll is a part of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2015 and is often required for running programs developed with Visual C++. As such, some games or applications may need this file in order to run effectively. So if you are seeing this error when trying to run any applications, then it implies that such application has been developed with certain runtime components that require Visual C++ libraries to run. And with that, chances are your msvcp.dll file is either missing, corrupt, or outdated. So let's go ahead and see how to get that fixed. Okay, so the first method would be to simply reinstall the missing msvcp file. Before we do that, we need to first change our file explorer options to make hidden files and folders visible. The reason for this step is because by default Windows tries to protect such important system files like the msvcp140.dll to avoid them getting deleted or modified by mistake. Because when that happens, it could potentially damage the operating system or like in this case, prevent certain programs and processes from running effectively. But now we want to check that we have the DLL file in the right place, so we need to make the DLL files visible. To do that, go to your search and type File Explorer Options. Click on the corresponding result from the search. On this dialog box, click on the View tab. Then, below you will see the options under Hidden Files and Folders. Select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Now remember to come back here and set the option back to Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. That way you will keep your DLL files protected. For now, you can apply and close the dialog box. Next is to go ahead and download the missing msvcp140.dll file. For that, open your browser and search. Download msvcp140.dll and hit enter. Here, click on the first result from dll-files.com. Now, this is the official site for downloading DLL files. I will leave the link down in the description. On this download page, pay attention to the architecture parameter. You're almost likely using the 64-bit architecture, but if you are using an older computer, you can quickly check by opening your file explorer. Click on this PC. Then on the top here, click on computer, then system properties. And under the system type, you should see your architecture. Here mine is 64 bits. Now go back to the download page and download the latest 64-bit version of the DLL file. It's a light zipped folder. You can extract or just double click to open after downloading. And in here you have the DLL file and a readme file. Now we need to move this to the system32 folder. To open the system32 folder, go to your local disk. Double click to open Windows folder. Then scroll down and search for the folder system32 as shown on the screen. Open that. And then go and copy the DLL file from where you extracted it to the system32 folder. Hit continue on the admin permission dialog. Now, if you are doing this on a 32-bit architecture, then you need to copy the DLL file to the folder named syswow64 as shown on the screen. Afterwards, simply restart your computer and see if the problem has been resolved. The second method would be to reinstall the required Visual C++ libraries or replace the existing ones which may be corrupt or outdated with the most recent package. To check if you already have the Visual C++ libraries installed, go to your Windows search and type Apps and Features. Click on the corresponding result from the search. On this Apps and Features page, scroll down to where you have the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages. Here check if you have the 2015 versions. As you can see, I don't have them at all, so I will need to download them afresh. If you have them already, then click and select uninstall on each of them to remove them, both the 32-bit and 64-bit version. Next, I will now go ahead and download the latest versions of these packages from the Microsoft Download Center. I will leave the download links in the video description. So here I will search Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistributable. You can already see that from the suggestion. Click on the first result from Microsoft.com.
you scroll down and select your preferred language and then hit download. On the page that follows, select both the 32 bit and 64 bit options and then hit next. Now that should immediately download both files, that's if you've set your browser to allow Microsoft to download multiple files. You can do that by simply clicking on this download icon at the end of the address bar and then select continue allowing automatic download of multiple files. You can also download them one after the other, it doesn't really matter. In any case, after downloading, go ahead and run them one after the other. It doesn't matter which order you install these packages, they will work just fine either ways. So here I will just agree to the terms and install. Then do the same for the second package. After the installations, you should now see both versions of these libraries in your apps and features page. Now simply restart your computer and you should have your applications running fine with no more errors. Now if for any reason you still get this error after trying these two fixes, then try reinstalling the application that gives the error when you try to run it. It might be that it still uses the initial installation system configurations you had when you installed it. So by reinstalling it, it will then acknowledge the new configurations. And that is it for this tutorial. You can also find written instructions together with download links down in the video description. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.